awesome. We'd love to help you automate your business processes. Let's get you set up with an appointment. Could you tell me your name? My name is Sohel. Nice to meet you, So, And what's your email address? I am omax706 at gmail.com. Got it. Just to confirm, your email is imomax706 at gmail.com, right? That's correct. Okay, I've sent you the email. Please use that link to pick a date and time for your appointment. Anything else I can help you with? This little piece of tech is not just any voice assistant. It is designed to handle calls, provide information and make our lives a lot easier. As you just saw in the demo, it can answer calls, understand commands and even have a conversation just like a human. This AI caller uses advanced natural language processing and machine learning algorithms to interpret and respond to spoken language but you can actually build it within few minutes and in this video i'll break down the entire process of building this ai caller how i actually set it up and how you can do it too so make sure you're watching till the end and let's get started all right so first of all you have to go to wapi.ai log in and here you can set up your ai assistant this is the section for the first message and this is the system prompt. So basically system prompt is the area where you will define how your assistant should be working. What is the purpose of this assistant and what it should be doing during the conversation. Here you can select different models and also upload knowledge based files. Let's say you have lots of information that you cannot put in a single prompt. So you can just upload it as a file to the knowledge base. This assistant is just for scheduling appointments so it will ask the caller's full name their email address and confirm the email address with the caller once this ai have this information it will send an email to the caller that will contain a url to schedule appointment and i'm going to tell you in a while how it can actually send an email so if we go to voice here you can configure what type of voice do you want to attach with this assistant. I am using 11 names and this is the name of the voice. There are various settings. All of them are default. I have not changed any of them. So if you go to functions, advanced, there are way too many things. Everything are kept as default. So to test this assistant, you can click on talk with Max. This is the name of the assistant. And it will automatically call the assistant using the web feature and you can just test it out how it is actually responding. So anyway, you can attach this assistant to a phone number. You can purchase it from here or import it from Twilio. But this buy number will make it much easier for you. Let's talk about tools. So basically tools is some external power that you are giving to the AI assistant. In this case, I gave ability to the AI so it can send emails to the caller right so how I set it up I you just have to click new tool select custom tools and here you have to input server URL so for the server URL I'm using replit.com I have a flask server over here that is actually uh, getting the incoming request and serving it so once a request is made to this URL I have fetched the event name, the name of the user and the email address of the user who is actually calling the AI assistant. And once I have these three parameters, I'm making a request to a webhook that I created on Mac.com. Once this webhook is triggered, then this Mac.com scenario comes into play. So here I have set up a webhook. It have a URL that you just saw on my Flask server. I have it set up so that it can take two parameters, name and email address. So once it have this information, the next step will be triggered. And in this step, I have connected my Gmail account. And in the to section, I have selected the email address that is coming from my plus server. And here I have some content. Inside content, I have added this URL of Calendly so that the user can actually schedule an appointment. So let's go back to WAPI. Let's say I put my server URL over here and then I'll just click next. Okay, let me actually show you how to actually set it up so that you are not confused. I clicked new tool, select custom tools and here I put my server URL 
and there is no secret token so just click save okay once you have saved it just click next button and here you have to provide that what are the parameters that this tool will take as an input so i'll just say it is name the description is the name of the caller i saved it i click property once again i said email email address of the caller i click save and then just click next here you have to give name to your tool i will say example email sender and in description let's say this tool will send email to the caller okay let's say email sending tool click create okay this tool has been created and now you have to give your assistant access to this tool so go back to assistant go to functions and here you can just select this tool that we just made and boom your assistant will have access to this tool okay so let's talk about how i set up the ui that you saw in the start of the video for that you have to go to wapi documentation go to web polling and here you can see live react demo if you click it and also there is a video that you can watch it is very helpful it will help you set it up but anyway here is the complete code of the demo application you can clone it to your local system and just get started to download it to your local system just click this button that says download zip and it will be downloaded and i'm assuming you already know how to set up react application all right if this video was helpful at all make sure you hit the subscribe button see you in the next video